Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a great week so far and that you're enjoying this change in weather wherever you may live. I know in Utah we are kind of shifting back and forth between spring weather, winter weather, warm weather, cold weather. So whatever it may be, it's mother nature, right? If you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for joining me. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for continuing with me on this road to YouTube. So as you guys can tell by the title, you can see that I'm going to be doing a new YouTuber questions tag, if that's what we want to call it. Um, basically, I'm just going to be answering some questions, letting you guys know a little bit more about me because I feel like I haven't really done one of those yet. I know that a lot of you already know a lot about me, but I did want to go ahead and introduce myself for people who may be new to my channel or who are going to be watching in the future just so you kind of get who I am and understand who I am and things about my life. So if you're interested in finding a little bit more about me then go ahead and just keep watching. Okay guys so I have a list of about 15 questions. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get through them all but I'm going to try. So we are going to start with what is your name? I think you guys already know my name. It is Roxanne. My last name is Edge because I'm married into the Edge family. My maiden name is Spanish. It's Erizaga. And so I was born into um, a more Caucasian family, which is why their last name is Edge. So my name is kind of a mixture of Spanish and Caucasian. So I have a really cool name, Roxanne Erizaga Edge. It's like my, my full 100% name. I have a couple middle names, but we won't get into that. Um, I think my names are really cool. They kind of make me who I am, and I'm so grateful to have both of them. Okay, um, the next question is where am I from? I was originally born in Glendora, California. Uh, my father uh, has Spanish roots. His biological parents were from Basque, Spain. My mother is German, I believe, and a little bit of Irish. Um, but I am from California in the area of like Glendora, Covina. All right, how tall are you? I am five, eight and a half. I think the last time I checked, I was five, eight and a half. I might have shrunk because my daughter, who's 13, is like taller than I am, and she's like five, seven or five, seven and a half. So I don't know, with age, I think I'm shrinking. Um, how many siblings do I have? I have one older brother who's eight years older than me. And then when I was growing up, we had um, neighbors or very, very, very close friends who we called or I called my brother and sisters. So technically, biologically, I just have one older brother who's eight years older than me, but I consider the three in between also my siblings. Okay, and then is this your first channel? Yes, it is absolutely 100% my first channel. I have been wanting to start a YouTube for a really long time and I just felt like this would be the perfect time to do it. My kids are getting older and I love makeup and I wanted to kind of have a channel that was a mixture of like motherhood advice, which I'm going to be doing another video on soon, and a makeup channel because it's my those are both my passions in addition to teaching. So I thought what a great way to kind of have a hobby that's healthy and can kind of help me express my passion but start a YouTube channel. Okay, um, what is your channel about? I did just kind of explain that. My blinds are going crazy, I'm sorry you guys, but my channel is basically a makeup channel um, and then also like a motherhood channel or it together motherhood and makeup because I am a mom and being a mom is so important to me and just kind of talking about my experiences sometimes in my videos or mentioning my kids talking to my kids in my videos are really important to me so I do have a couple of videos already uploaded about motherhood and some advice on that but I am going to be focusing more on the motherhood aspect very very soon and then it is also a makeup beauty channel where I do tutorials, get, uh, get ready with me videos, hauls, um, advice on makeup, tips and tricks, things like that. I did just get started, but that is what I hope my channel will be. Okay, um, why should anyone subscribe to your YouTube channel? Oh man. I would hope that it would be because they like me, because they want to be involved with someone who is passionate and honest and kind and is, is kind of a, a um, you know person who is involved in many different aspects of life. I would hope that they would want to hear about my stories of being a mom while also learning about everyday beauty. 
I'm not necessarily one of those women who can do like full glam or choose to do full glam, um, but I do like to create makeup looks that I think the everyday woman would appreciate. So I would hope that they, it just because they, um, they like my personality and I have a great um, connection with a lot of people that I meet and so I would also hope that they would feel that connection as well. All right, the next question is, where do you see yourself and your YouTube channel in five years? Um, I don't know, you guys. This is just a hobby for me. I mean, it's fun and I'm passionate about it. If it blows up and if it goes somewhere, that would be amazing and I would be so blessed and so grateful. But for me, this is an outlet. It's something that I'm doing because it's fun, um, because I needed something that was healthy that I could just kind of immerse myself in as far as like the whole process is concerned the actual filming of the video, the editing of the video, the, the you know, the uploading of the video. That for me, that's all a really fun learning process and learning experience. And that's kind of what I wanted this to be. So I hope that in five years it gets to be, um, you know, really a really popular channel. But if it doesn't, I'm okay with that too because I'm doing this for me and I'm doing it for fun and I'm doing it for, um, you know, enjoying my time as my kids get older. All right, the next question is what inspired you to start making videos? Um, I think just my passion for beauty, my passion for being a mother. I've always watched these really great YouTubers and I've always been so envious at them being able to portray themselves in front of the camera and I knew that I could do something like that because I do have you know, the teaching skills and I do have the public speaking skills and I feel like I, you know, I could be good at that. And so that's kind of what inspired me to start it was just showing mothers out there you know, moms like me who are busy, who work, who take care of the kids, who take care of their husband, who come home and kind of work some more. I wanted to show them that it is possible to love yourself and have confidence and have beauty internally while you are showing that on the outside. So that is why I started making YouTube videos. Um, okay, so question number 10 is who are your, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Oh, this is a loaded question. Um, I would say definitely Laura Lee, number one. Um, Kathleen Lights, um, Meg McTaggart. Um, I do like Jacqueline Hill and Nicole Guerrero. I don't watch them as much as I used to. Um, I would say Nikki Tutorials is pretty good too. Um, Oh man, there's so many. I feel like I'm not even mentioning um, Casey Holmes. I don't know. I think what my all-time favorite has to be like Laura Lee or um, Kathleen Lights. Yeah, those are my two favorite. Um, number 11 is what does your username mean? Well, I kind of just put together my two favorite things and that became my, my channel. It went well phonetically and it kind of was appeasing to the eye. So motherhood and makeup, just two things that I'm passionate about and that I love. Um, I combined them and motherhood and makeup was born. Okay, number 12, best thing about YouTube, being able to express yourself and have nobody judge you for it directly. You know, of course you're gonna get those comments and you're gonna get those people who aren't a fan of you and that's fine, that's something that you have to learn to live with when you're on YouTube, but I feel like the best thing about YouTube is just being able to express myself in any way that I want. You know, of course that, that's appropriate, but being able to show that I'm passionate about this kind of stuff is is so important to me, and, and I love being able to do that. So I would say just being able to express myself and being able to show my passion on camera and kind of talk about my passion and talk about who I am as a person and my life in general. So you guys, it's getting really bad out there. I'm so sorry that my chimes are so bad. I'm so sorry. Okay, um, worst thing about YouTube is probably that criticism that you get with the haters out there because everybody has to be a troll or everybody has to pre uh, pass judgment. They're not confident in themselves. They're not comfortable with themselves. And so they have to take that judgment out on other people. And that's really unfortunate, but it doesn't bother me. No skin off my back. So. All right, the next question, number 14, is what are your goals when it comes to YouTube? Just to basically show people who I am as a person, um, my love for being a mom, my love for makeup, and my abilities that I have, um, some of my traits, some of my 
um, tips and tricks that I could give to them, some of my talent, and just kind of my personality, my passion for what I do and who I am. So I would definitely say that that's my goal, is just to kind of show women, everyday women, that you can be beautiful and that you can be confident and be a mom and, and do it all, have it all, and just basically empower who we are as a culture, not just for women, but everybody in general, empower people in general um, to feel good about themselves and be confident and to exude that confidence. And then finally, any advice for new YouTubers? Well, I'm still a new YouTuber, so I don't know, I would need the advice, but something I would give them is just to start their channel. Like, I know that sometimes we feel, um, like for me, I thought a lot, oh, I can't do it, I can't do it, I don't know what I'm gonna do, how am I gonna post videos, what am I gonna do? I just started it, you guys. I saved up some money, I went out, I got a camera, used that for a little bit, saved up some more money, finally got the T5i, um, you know, finally just barely ordered my ring light. I'm getting that in. I've been collecting makeup over the last couple months. Um, I've been really practicing my craft and I've been just, you know, getting myself out there, getting the name of my channel and hoping that people will will hear me and listen to me and love what I have to say and just kind of get along with, with my, my dreams and my goals and my views. and. I don't know, that's my advice, is just, just to do it and be confident about it and be happy that you're doing it and show that you're happy that you're doing it and have that emotion and the energy on camera. So anyway guys, that is all I have. I hope that you enjoyed this new YouTuber questions um, tag. I don't know if I could even call it that, but that's what I have for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit more about me and that you found something I said interesting or inspiring or if you are a new YouTuber, you are, you know, planning on starting a channel, get out there, you guys, do it. Do whatever you want. You know, dreams and goals are only as big as you make them and they are always within reach. And remember my saying to all of you, one of the biggest reasons that I started YouTube is because don't ever let anybody tell you that you have to be something that you don't want to be. Mwah. Talk to you guys later. See ya.